Welcome to this SEH screencast. My name is Mike Majeski, and I'd like to show you the first few steps in operating our UTN Manager. When starting the UTN Manager for the first time, you are notified that the select list is empty. In the select list, you can see all the devices on the network which you'll want to manage. You choose the devices you want by clicking Yes. In the window now opening, you'll find the network list on the left side. Here, all my UTN device servers are listed, including all USB devices that are attached to them. The UTN manager automatically performs a multicast search of your local network. It populates the list with all my UTN device servers which are found in the same IP range as your PC. You can expand the search range to include any network segment by clicking Options. If you check the IP range search box and then press the plus button, you can define more IP address ranges to be searched. Another click on Scan will start UTN Manager looking into this newly defined area. To use one of the discovered device servers, you must add it to the select list on the right side. From here, you can select the discovered servers and add them to your list. I select one of the My UTN Device servers that were found, click on Add, and then it's added to my select list. I now have device servers in my select list and I can see all of the USB devices that are attached to them. This device is a USB stick. I'll open the My Computer window to show you how this USB stick on the device server will be connected directly to my client. In the UTN Manager, I click on Activate. In just a few seconds, I can see this device on my client. I now have access to this USB stick as if it was locally attached. I can create, copy, and move files and folders. During this time, my client has exclusive access and no other users can access this USB stick while I have it activated. When I no longer need this USB stick, I can click on Deactivate to disconnect the device from my PC and make it available for other users. These are the first steps to get you up and running with UTN Manager. In other screencasts, I will go into detail about each of its functions and features and show you some application examples. You can find much more information on my UTM by visiting our website. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook to stay up to date on our latest features and offers. We look forward to seeing you.